changes. So what is up guys, today I am out here filming with the bait Yamamoto cut tail worm. Now this bait's a pretty, it's fall and that means catch the big fish up shallow. Let's get going. So in the fall, as many of you guys know, these fish are moving up shallow to feed to get ready for the winter. Now in the summer, summer and winter and spring and fall are kind of like the same season. So spring and fall, the fish are up shallow feeding or spawning. In summer and winter, they're out deep, kind of hibernating or, or mega feeding like they do in the summer. And so these fish want to come up, and especially in a, in a deep pond like this, they want to come up right to the edge of this weed line right here, as you guys can see. There's weeds and there's, there's stumps. There's stumps out in the middle way out there. And so there's a lot of cover these fish can come up to, to hide next to and to, to feed before the winter time comes in, they have to go deep and just hibernate for the winter. And so one of the, the cool baits that I use to catch fish right as they're in that transition period from the deep to the shallow is a Texas rigged worm. This here is a Yamamoto cut tail. It's like a Cinco from Yamamoto, but it has a little cut tail on the end there that adds a lot of vibration in the water. And so what's cool about this bait is you can cast it up right along the edge of the weed line and just kind of reel it back slowly, occasionally giving it a jerk or letting it fall back down. And man, those fish will just annihilate it because they're in a hungry feeding mood and it's a good way to catch some big fish. So I'm just gonna kind of flip it along this weed line here. Let it sink a little bit. Just kind of slowly, slowly reel it back. Just give it a little, little twitches every once in a while. Sometimes it takes a while to find where these fish are located. But as soon as you find one fish in the fall, you'll probably find a bunch. Oh. <laughs> Had a little bite there, and now I'm stuck in the tree. That's what happens when you go shore fishing and you set the hook too hard. Get back in there and catch that fish. Hey, buddy. There he goes. Hey, Mr. Armadillo. Oh, that looks so good in the water. Yeah. Man. When you see frogs jumping along the surface like this, you automatically know these fish are wanting to bite something that's on the top. And a frog is oftentimes a good time to do it. As a matter of fact, I probably should be throwing a frog right now. Oh, got one. Yes. Yes. Good Come one. On, Good fish. Come on, buddy. Come on. Solid three at least. Get up here. Get up here. Ooh, yes. And that's the kind of fish you can expect out of the Yamamoto cuttail worm. I was just reeling this thing right along the grass line. Man, right in the side of the mouth. Nice fish on the cuttail worm. I tell you, small ponds in the fall, great ways to catch fish because oftentimes, especially when they have grass and wood, these fish are nice and chunky. Whoo! Let's give this fish a release. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong way, buddy. Wrong. There, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah. And that, folks, is how you catch fish on the cut tail worm.